All right, now we're going to go over some advanced options. Actually, we're going to go over pretty much all the advanced options in a product. So we're going to go into the Shirt01 product, and then we're going to scroll down to Advanced Options and basically just go into each one. That percentage will only be used by our European clients. It's basically the percentage of tax that you want to add to this product. Homepage section we've already talked about. Free shipping item lets the software know that this item qualifies for free shipping. Hide product is exactly like it sounds. It hides this product. Hide when out of stock basically hides this product when the stock status of this product goes below zero. And that only works if you actually fill in the stock status. If you don't fill in the stock status or all of your products are drop shipped, then this will mean nothing. You can check it or check it, it's just not going to do anything. Manufacturer, that's the manufacturer of this product and you can upload a logo by just clicking right here. These four we've already talked about. Enable multi-child add to cart is used when you have a product that comes in different ways but is really the same product. An easy way to show you is just to show you. So let's go to volusion.com slash demo slash audio and we'll click on the Sony Cybershot P8 camera. What you see here is the enable multi-child add to cart. The reason we have this is because there's different colors of the camera even though it's the same camera and may even be the same model name in a different color or something. And that's why you would use the grid to allow customers to quickly add different versions of the same product to their cart. Private section customers only tells the software that this product shows up, this product should only be in a private section category. If for some odd reason it shows up somewhere else that's not supposed to be, don't show this product. Hide you save does just that. It allows you to hide the you save thing the product. Allow price edit, again, is just like it sounds. It allows the customer to edit the price of this product. The reason we created it is for nonprofit organizations that need to be able to take donations, but they don't know how much the donations are. So what you would do is create a product and check this box, and whenever the customer adds this product to the cart, they'll have a text box in there that they can change the price for and change the donation status of. Price subtext is text that goes right after the price. So we type in here, this is the price subtext. And then scroll down, click on Save Changes, and then go to the front of the store and go to the shirt. Right after sale price, this is the price subtext. Now, if you didn't have a sale price, this would actually go on the product price section, which in our case, we named Jake's price. Price subtext short is the same thing as this, but it's just a shorter version of that if this is actually longer or you want to put HTML in here. Because this also shows up on the category page when it lists out the products. And just like you have a category description short for subcategories and a product description short for category, for the category product layout, you also have the price subtext short to show a shorter version of the price subtext in those layouts. Add to cart button replacement text is a little bit hard to explain, so I'm just going to show you. Basically, it replaces the text of the Add to Cart button for this product. So, why would you use it? Well, here's one reason. As you can see here, we have the Add to Cart button. If we refresh, and you can see, it replaces the Add to Cart button with Out of Stock. That was the Add to Cart button replacement text. Product popularity basically is how you sort the products inside of a category. The higher the number, the higher the priority. Display begin date and display end date allow you to set dates for when this product shows up on your store and gets taken out of your store. Min quantity and max quantity allows you to set the minimum number and the maximum number of these products a customer can purchase in, at one time. Download file name is used if this product represents a downloadable product. You would type in the downloadable file name and then you would upload the file through here. Gift wrap cost is basically the cost of gift wrapping this product. Use product key type is mainly used for downloadable products if you're, if you're sending out keys for the product like if it was a software package or something. Accessories are basically accessories that go along with this product. So this is a shirt, so I'd probably want like ties and cufflinks or something like that. And so I'd probably put ties 01, cufflinks 01, 
the actual product codes of whatever I wanted. And then on the right side, right here, there will be a new column that shows up that will give them the accessories and pull in the products that you pulled in. It's going to work now because we haven't actually created these products. Free accessories are just like the accessories except they go free with this product. So you put in the product codes here and whenever somebody adds this product to the cart, it adds the free accessories along with it but zeroes out the price. Hide free accessories allows you to quickly hide the free accessories instead of having to delete all the free accessories and then putting them back in if you want to turn off the free accessories or a sale or something like that. Same photos as product code is quite self-explanatory. Just put the product code number in here, the photos that you want to duplicate. Photo URL small and large allow you to use external photos as your product photos on your product details page. Additional product keywords is used for your store search. The store search searches by product code, product name, and product keywords in the regular search, and then it also adds product descriptions in the advanced search. Product keywords allows you to s separate keywords that you think people will search for that allow this product to be pulled into the search results. So let's say we wanted to say the keyword is Gucci, high collar, and blue sky. Of the color, I don't know. And then that would allow these keywords to be searchable and pull up this product when somebody searches for this these keywords. This child of product code is basically allows the software to know that this is a child product of this particular product code. Affiliate commissionable value is the price that you want to pay the affiliate on. If there's nothing in here, it defaults to the sale price if it's filled in or the product price. Order finish note is a special note that goes in the final order page, the thank you page, after the customer has purchased this product. And this is something extra that you can put in here, like, don't forget to get this and that if you're going to need to do that. Not a very good example, but you get the idea. Custom meta tags overrides is just like the category section. It's mainly used for SEO firms. You're probably never going to ever use this section. And that's really it for advanced sections. In this video, we're going to talk about the product images. Alright, in this last section, we're going to talk about 